We have to go back. No, not back to the island from Lost or even 1985. We have to go back to the biggest stories of the week that you might have missed. Great Scott. Number five, Beyonce will voice Nala in Disney's live action film for The Lion King. That's right, Queen Bey has officially been announced as part of the cast, but I'm sorry, rabid Beyonce fans, that is absolutely not the person that I am freaking out about. You guys, Donald Glover, my favorite artist on the planet, is playing Simba. This is the best. If that wasn't enough, Billy Eichner will voice Timon, while Seth Rogen voices Pumbaa. Number four, a little old game called Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which has only sold like 18 million copies this year, like it's no big deal, finally has a release date for Xbox Game Preview. You'll be able to play the game December 12th on Xbox One for 30 bucks. I was curious about how much this would cost. Like maybe all the success would go to their heads, but with Fortnite's Battlegrounds-esque mode being free, I think $30 is a solid choice. Number three, speaking of release dates, Sony announced at Paris Games Week that Shadow of the Colossus is set to arrive February 6th on PlayStation 4. I got to play a tiny bit of this, and you guys, it is downright gorgeous. Not super sold on the way it controls, but I'm very excited to hear what new players think of the classic game. Number two, Superman himself, Henry Cavill, knows that Marvel comparisons aren't the biggest issue with the DC Extended Universe. In an interview with The Rake magazine, Cavill said, even if Marvel didn't exist, we'd struggle. There was a style that the filmmakers were going for, an attempt to be different and look at things from a slightly different perspective, which hasn't necessarily worked. Yeah, you kind of right. And number one, Luke Skywalker actor Mark Hamill was counting on Harrison Ford to save him from returning to Star Wars. You know, like how Han helped Luke at the Battle of Yavin. You see, Hamill told the New York Times that he was scared to return and he expected Ford to turn down the offer, but that didn't happen. Hamill said, Can you imagine if I was the only one to say no, I'd be the most hated man in nerddom. Seriously though, I'm pretty sure they just gave Harrison Ford an entire mountain worth of money, so he literally couldn't say no. I'm sorry, Mark Hamill. <laughs> Those are the top five stories you may have missed this week. Be sure to watch the rest of your Daily Fix episodes for more news and our top five stories airing tomorrow. But before then, find out why Monster Hunter World is the perfect entry point for new players to the franchise with our video. I'm Alana and I'll see you guys next time.